As you can see, I'm in Minecraft Bedrock with one of the most beautiful shaders I've ever seen for Minecraft Bedrock, and that is Prisma RTX. And I'm gonna teach you how to download and install these shaders for the most recent version of Minecraft Bedrock and how to get it working in your own Minecraft Bedrock game. Let's get started with the tutorial. Step number one for downloading and installing Prisma RTX is to click the second link in the description, which will bring you to, of course, our written guide on how to download and install these shaders. Now, feel free to read through the guide and look at the screenshots. I know this might help a lot of you if you get lost at any moment within the video. Anyways, if you just want to follow along the guide, all you have to do is to scroll down and click where it says download. And once you click that button, you'll be redirected over here where you will be able to download the Prisma RTX. This used to be Lomen RTX. That's how it used to be called, the Lomen, or I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. It used to be called differently. However, it has changed the name to Prisma. It's still the same project, still the same shader. It's just a little bit better and updated. But yeah, this used to be called Lomen RTX for those of you that might get confused with the names. Anyways, once you're here in this website, go ahead and scroll down until you see the most recent version of Prisma. In this case, it's 1.2.1. We're gonna go ahead and click on that button or that green link in there. That'll redirect you over here, where we're going to click here, where it says click here to continue. Green sentence down here, go ahead and click on that. That'll redirect you over here to a mediafire.com website where we're gonna click download. This download right here next to Prisma RTX, okay? Make sure you click on this one and that will start the download automatically for Prisma. So you can see my Prisma RTX pack has just finished downloading. Yours might take a little bit longer, might take less. Whatever the case might be, go ahead and drag and drop that file that we just downloaded onto the desktop. If you're using the most recent version of Chrome, you should have this little arrow right here on the top where you'll be able to see your downloads. If you're not using Chrome, you could probably find the file within your downloads folder. Anyways, once we have the Prisma RTX downloaded, all we have to do now is make sure that our Minecraft game is closed, our Minecraft Bedrock game is closed, as well as our launcher, and then go ahead and double click on Prisma. As you can see, this will launch the Minecraft game. And while Minecraft is loading in the background, I have to let you know about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you're looking to create a Minecraft server, and it doesn't matter if you're trying to make a Java or Bedrock server, this will work for both. Apex Hosting is here for you and they will actually provide you with 25% off if you use the first link in the description. Something that I personally love about Apex Hosting besides all the advantages that they provide you with is that you could control the server console through your phone, meaning that you could kick people out of the server, change the server settings or whatever you want to do through your phone. So you want to make a server that is open 24 seven and your friends could join you at any moment without you having to be there. This is for you. Apex Hosting is for you. First link in the description, get 25% off and let's get back into the tutorial. As we can see, Minecraft has opened now and in order to activate the shaders, we're going to head over to settings before opening a new world. We're going to head over to settings and we're going to scroll down until we see global resources. Once you're here, go ahead and head over to my packs. And if you install Prisma correctly, you should see it here. As you can see, mine is right here. Go ahead and click on it and click on activate. That will activate the Prisma and you will see here within the active tab. If you want to deactivate it, all you have to do is open the active area, click on Prisma again and click deactivate. If you need to refresh it, if it's giving you any troubles, you could always click on this little green arrow right here and then click on refresh. That's if it's giving you any troubles as well as if you need to delete it, you could delete it from here. Anyways, once we have Prisma active, we're going to go ahead and check on the world. We're going to launch our world and check on the shaders. Give it a second for it to load. As you can see, it's saying loading resource packs. It might take a little bit, wait a little bit, and then go ahead and launch your world. As you can see, it says Prisma in here. So that means that it loaded properly. We're going to go ahead and play on this creative world that I was using for the thumbnail of this video. Let's go ahead and wait for that world to open. And yes, this will work in multiplayer as well. And as you can see, we are within the world and we have Prisma shaders working. We have some nice shaders, I must say. These look very beautiful. Not even Java players get these nice shaders, okay? So if you're a Bedrock player, you feel good about these shaders because trust me, I play Minecraft Java and these are some beautiful shaders. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it was useful, don't forget to leave a like and a comment and subscribe because we post a lot of tutorials on this channel. That is it. And as I always say, bye bye.